Oi, 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 oi. It's the Cockney Buddha. And I'm here in sunny Florida. It was actually a little cooler this morning. It's kind of weird. Went out there, let the dog out. I'm like, hmm, it's interesting. Humidity's a little down. And we're at the beginning of June. Hmm. So this one came up for me through the week and I've uh, been dealing with it a little bit. And it kind of came to a bit of a head after my therapy session this week. So I wanted to share it because I used my tools and I want to tell you what I did with the tools. Get myself out of a bit of a situation when it comes down to, you know, some anger as well. So I hope everybody's doing well out there and having a decent week. Like I said, I'm the Cockney Buddha and I live here in sunny Florida. I do have a certification in counselling and I love my work, I really do. And I use this as a way of getting out there and uh, sending a message out there, especially when things happen to me that I can share. It's all about helping another person. That's what this is all about. That's why I do this. And I uh, wanted to tell you a little bit about what happened to me this week. Um, after my ther- I have my therapy sessions on Thursdays. And, uh, you know, I, lo- I love my therapy. I love my... Judith, big shout out to Judith. I love, love her to death. Absolutely love her to death. Somebody I take bullets for, let me tell you. Mate, amazing lady. It's put me on a track that, you know, yeah, of course, there's, all, there's always the downers, and but she's always there for the downers just as much as she's there for the joy. Um, so Thursday, you know, I, what, I, I'll i start, let me start somewhere, eh? Because I'm kind of starting in the beginning here. <laughs> um, I seem to do that with a story. But um, Without going into really too much detail, I've been dealing with a little bit of a, you know, well, I say a little bit, I've been dealing with quite a lot of anger. <laughs> Not a little bit, quite a lot, which I'm going to do, you know, I'm gonna, I want to do a podcast around anger, uh, maybe maybe talk to some people around it that deal with it and how they work with it. I don't know yet. I don't know how I'm going to go about it, but it's a quite a big subject. I'd even like to interview maybe somebody on it and talk to them and what they do and kind of converse because... I deal with the anger myself and rage. Rage is a big thing. It all comes from pretty much bullying is like a, 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 a quite a big root. <laughs> um, so I've gone the other way. Instead of carrying, I went the other way to where now if anybody kind of tries to step on toes or anything like that, or I feel I'm getting taken advantage of, boom. And it depends on the, depends on the situation. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> pretty much stems, excuse me, it pretty much stems back to bullying. And even though I I report bullying just like it's, you know, like it happens to everybody, <laughs> um, my wife and my therapist have both said, no, 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 no. And there was, you know, it's pretty, and then they, you know, my which I had a hard time. I've actually only just come to the, the, the conclusion and acceptance of, when my therapist said you you're you're showing PTSD because of it, I just threw it out as like no no it wasn't that bad because I did I wasn't looking at it as that bad the bullying but yeah yeah <laughs> and now the, these are the things you know that you work on in therapy because when I was sitting in front of my therapist this week and telling them the story of what happened and the different emotional areas that I went to and how I pulled myself out of it in fact i didn't even realize i was doing what i was doing um because you i wasn't getting much credit <laughs> i wasn't getting much credit for like stopping what i was doing because i think everybody just didn't see it really there was one person that that came walking towards me big shout out to jen um came walking towards me with the i knew the look on her face like hmm, what's going on and uh yeah right <laughs> um but um but no, anyway, so I get, I, there I am, 
reporting what happened because it bothered me um, in kind of a pretty much calm manner. Just like I'm really talking to you, just so you know, there was might have been a couple of areas where I was a little bit louder or something, but um, and then all of a sudden it got connected, which I wasn't connecting it back to bullying and bully. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, oh, and I sat back in my chair and I thought, oh shit, and I felt the anger coming, I felt that anger coming up. And uh, straight away, I said, to, I said to Judith, I'm like, right, hold up. I've got the anger coming on. So she's like, you have? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I said, you've, you've, you've hit a nerve. You've definitely hit a nerve. Because and then I was having visions of all different things that I've seen and then going to my own bullying and, and uh, you know, you start, you start kind of flashing. And then I, I've only just really come to the conclusion, well, like I say, the realisation of, oh, that's what PTSD is. Because <laughs> I, I kept on saying, no, nah, no, nah, I'm all right. You know, no, nah, I'm all right. But no, I get, it's definitely, it's there. It's there. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, I got, I've been tested today where my anger's been bleeding, bothering me and jumping and, um, anyway, getting back to the story. Um, so Thursday, I get I reported to me therapist, just telling the story, what's going on, and break away from it. You know, the therapy's done. Uh, was getting ready to go up to the pool because my my oldest was in in school, and uh, my youngest is off now because she just graduated. Well done, well done, Gabo, brilliant. Um, she just graduated, and uh, my wife has been off a week, so I was going to go up to the pool. And I was all right. I was, like, looking forward to it, cool, ready to go, you know, going to spend a bit of time with the fam and uh, chill out, chill out in the water for a little bit. Banging, looking forward to it. Just had a decent session, come up with some conclusions, which happened to be the reasons why I kind of went the way I did, I think, um, or I believe, I should say. Um, so... I go and get me, I get me shorts on. Already, already, I'm kind of a bit bothered because I'm like, oh, I ain't got. I'm looking through me shorts. I'm like, I ain't got any with liners in them. And please, can anybody tell me if you can actually buy the liners? Just a lot, like the lot, because my shorts, I've got all bold shorts, and even though I just wear them like that, but you know, I guess I've got this because <laughs> my missus is like, well, you got liners in. Them. I'm thinking, do I have to have liners in my shorts? I don't. Have to, what do I know, right? <laughs> what do I know? Um, but anyway, so I put me, I go and, I go and look, and I'm already getting a little bit bothered. I'm noticing I'm just getting a little bit bothered. And, um, I get the, I, I just put a pair of shorts on, I'm coming out, and all of a sudden I'm just going to meltdown. Start bloody, like, I'm like, holy shit, man. Runaway train, runaway train, <laughs> you know? It was like, oh, damn, hold up. And, um... Yeah, it was starting. To, it was, I could tell it was going. It was going into sadness really quick, like really quick. And and I've been, you know, I've I've been there before. But now I've got tools. <laughs> Instead of just letting it just go right, you piece of shit. I'm going to I'm going to destroy you. You know the the, the you know that feeling when you're like oh no and that's it. A runaway train. You're in bed. You're freaking for hours. You're crying. You. You, 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 oh God! You, end of the world is coming. You can't fucking cope. You, you know, you're not sharing. It gets there, right? <laughs> um, but I use my tools. I use my tools. My, I, I said to the first thing was right. Okay, I'm not going up to the pole. <laughs> Let's establish that first, so, because I didn't want to bring it to. I didn't want to play victim, because I could already tell. I'm like, oh my God, I broke down. My freaking dog me. Me, me daughter seeing it, you know, seeing her dad freaking like lose it, and and I'm, I said to me, I said to me, Mrs. Listen, hey, psh, I'm gonna like, and she goes, no, come up, and I'm like, no, no, I gotta, uh, I gotta get sort this out, and I walked out, I got a meditation room, thank God I have, it's a blessing to be be in a position to be have a, have a meditation room, and it's you know, it's just a room in the house that I've done out, you know, it's not a something we built for it, it's. It's a room that I'm like, yeah, it'd be a great place to be out. It used to be a drum room. I used to have my drums in there because I, 
I had a kit at the other house and then I thought, yeah, I want to set the drums up where I can just leave them set up. And now it's just, the drums are up in the attic and <laughs> it's, it's a meditation room and it's got Buddhists and Ganesh and hemp saws and it's got everything in there. Big old bean bags. And anyway, so I was like, right, get in that room. Because I don't even allow shoes in the room. It's a very, for me, it's a very spiritual area for me. I can walk into that room and just know it just feels right. It's where I do my uh, Sunday morning lot. By the way, go and check that out. Oi, oi. Sunday morning, Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern time, U.S. Eastern time. Um, come and check me out on my channel. Go and give me some love. Go and hit the subscribe and the like and that for me if you would. Um, and come and check me out. I do it live on. Uh, I wasn't going to do it this Sunday. I was going to take a break, but I thought, no, nah, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to bang it out there. So come and check me out. 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, we do a little breath work, a little meditation, and then um, we have a little bit of a chat. But um, so anyway, I, I thought, right, get in there, get your app up, because I've got an app, by the way, Insight Timer, another big oil oh, app, Insight Timer, uh, great app to load up onto your phone. Um, they, you know, tell them, tell them that freaking Cockney Buddha sent you, right? Give me a bit of a shout. <laughs> Give me... Give me some, uh, give me something, <laughs> right? Um, big shout out to them, Insight Timer. They're a, they're a good little app. I use it all the time. Yeah, I I so I subscribe to it. Hey, yeah, I think you could do that for me, Insight Timer. You can help me out. Give me a give me a year for because I'm I've got so many people that you don't even know that I've sent your way that are using using that app. I tell you, I, every time, like right, get yourself Insight Timer. It's of so many people. Um, so big shout to them. And I, I brought that up and I thought, right, and I just look, I look down because you can, you can time, you've got a timer on there thing where it'll t ask you like, how long do you want to meditate for? Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, you can go right up to hour plus and it, and it will give you the meditations for that. But I always like to do at least a good 15, 20 minutes. So, I start flicking down. I can't remember what the meditation was. I wish I could remember now. I should have wrote it. Well, not should, but it would have been a better choice to write it down and mention it, and then you could have, you could have had a little look at it. But anyway, <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I hit I hit this meditation, and I like go into this meditation, which was really good. I do that. I come out of it, and I'm like, no, I need more. So I went into Wim Hof breathing, and I did. Uh, I've got a, a, an app, not an app. I go into YouTube and I look up Wim Hof. He's got a bunch of different breath works on there. The one I do is 30 breaths, breathe out, suspend the breath for a minute. And then you do two more rounds of that, 30 breaths, last breath all the way out, suspend the breath, and you do a minute and a half each one. And if I'm feeling good, which I did on this, I came out of that and then I do another couple of rounds of 30 breaths, breathe in, suspend the breath at the top, and keep going until you're like, you know, like you know when you've been, you know when you've been underwater and you're looking up at the top and you're like, oh my god, I'm running out of air and I don't know if I'm gonna make. You get to that point, and then uh, and then I breathe out, and then take a big breath and then do it again, and then I did that, and I, I knew I needed more, so I I think I did a little bit more uh, meditation work, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it was like a seven minute one. I went back into Insight Timer pulled up like a seven-minute one, and I did that. And then I found another one on Insight Timer again, big ups, big ups, uh, which was another breath work, which was like Wim Hof. I saved it because it was a good one. It was like Wim Hof, but it was four rounds of, I think it was 40 breaths, but like um, it was like a slowed-down version of Breath of Fire, if you know what that is, which is it, it, Breath of Fire, you're going... <laughs> When you do, when you did this one, you were going. <laughs> so it was, it was, it wasn't quite Wim Hof, but it, it it wasn't far. It was like an in between, and you did that for a bit, and then he, you suspended the breath for a couple of minutes or so, and there was four rounds of that. And when I came out of that, I was like, okay, now I feel different. 
and it's a matter of it's a matter of getting those tools moving, guys. It's a matter of getting those. It's a it's a matter of falling back on the things you know. And I'm going to mention Dan Kov. Big shout to Dan Kov out there, who who it stuck in my head. You know what to do. I still say it. I mentioned. I think I mentioned it today. Yeah, I did. I men- I mentioned it today. I mentioned it today to somebody. Um, and it's come up in my mind a few times. You know what to do. And he and he said that when I was like freaking thought I was about to like snuff it <laughs> over the Christmas when I caught the bloody flu and the pneumonia on top of it and I thought oh yeah this is it this is the way I'm gonna go <laughs> this is this is it I'm game on I'm I'm on my way up and uh, and he came up he asked me he's just like hey how you doing man I know from you and I messaged him back I'm like yeah dude I've got freaking you know I'm not doing too well I'm finding it a bit hard and that. And he goes, you know what to do. And I thought about it. And I thought, you know what? Be with it. Don't try and don't try and go against it. Be with it. So after all that, I did all the uh, I did all the meditation and that. And I've I've had some more. I've had I've had a little bit of more anger floating around today. And and it was a matter of tuning in again and finding out I got a hold of. I got a hold of Beckett Johnson, by the way. Go and check that out. Friday mornings, Friday mornings, uh, 12 noon at the minute, I believe, uh, Eastern Time US on Beckett Johnson's channel. If you go and check that out, we uh, we do a live on there. We ain't been doing it that long. We didn't do it this Friday. We took a break and had a chat and wanted to figure some things out, which turned into a great conversation. Um, but go and, go and check him out. But uh, I me- I messaged him today, and I'm like, dude, what's going on with you? I'm like angry as shit. And he mentioned a couple of things and about tuning into the you know spirit guides and that, and which I did. And I'm like, right, what are you freaking showing me here? Just be with it. Just don't because it. I was the more the more I was trying to um, fight it and not look for the solution, like the reasons why or why am I being like this? The the worse it was getting. The anger was getting worse. And I, like I said, I have a problem with bloody anger and rage. I can fl- flip a switch depending on what, but I've been getting really, really good at navigating it more. And this, and, to, and today was another one. Even though, I, you know, I popped a couple of times, I, um, anger popped off, not so much rage. Well, there was one, but I calmed it really damn quick. Like really quick. Within freaking few seconds, I calmed it quick. Um, which again, win, 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 win for me. <laughs> um, but it was uh, all of a sudden, I, you know, when I was like, okay, freaking be with the hanger. Don't try and don't try and fight the hanger. Just be, what's it, what's going on here? Yeah, what are you trying to teach me? What are you trying to show me? And it was that all of a sudden that answer to the PTSD thing came up. It was the strangest thing. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I guess I don't know why because I have questioned it for quite some time. I have questioned it for quite some time. Like, no, that ain't me, you know? Even though my therapist is like, well, <laughs> I'm going, well, as well, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah, you know? I know people have been through some, a lot of, but again, I, I play mine down. You know, don't play down your trauma, guys. Other people, yeah, may have had it tough and all that, but I was complete. I was deny. I was pretty much denying it, even though I would say, "Yeah, I've well, got some PTSD." But I think I was more. I don't know if I was using it as an excuse or what, but I, I honestly, kind of fell into place with it today. Because and then I was like, "What are you trying to? What are you trying to bloody show me?" And all of a sudden, this bloody thing shows up of like. Well, this is what PTSD is, and I'm like, what? Like, que- <laughs> like questioning it, and, and like, oh shit! Like, yeah, looking back, what's happened, the triggers, though, because one of the one of the things when I sat when I was sitting in front of my therapist on Thursday was I sat back in my chair and I went, hang on a minute, and and she's like, what? And I'm like, well, given the given the situation. It doesn't require the amount of rage that I'm going into. <laughs> so why am I going there? Which is, again, it opens the mind up to the questioning of the what, where's it going? Why am I so rageful? Well, it, that's what I mean. It just brought, it started rooting back and then, you know, she came up and said, 
well, you know, bully. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> ah. So it was, it was, I believe I was being shown. It was an energy showing me, look, hey, this is what it is. And now I'm hoping, I don't know, because this is all a bit new to me, and I always like, you know, as soon as things start coming on that I'm not, that, that I've not seen before, or I've not dealt with before, you know, like in a, there's all kinds of things that come up, and you're like, hey, and instead of running away from it, I look at it and go, right, what's what's going on there? What does that mean then? What can I do with that? And I can start using that now because now I have another and a, a better awareness, I guess, you know. Um, a more consciousness of it, I guess. So being in touch with the anger that way, when you go back to something and you can you can put your finger on it, you can start going, it's not this situation. And it kind of breaks it for you a little bit. There's a little bit of a diff there's a bit of a difference there. Because the anger that you had back then, you can't go back and do anything about, right? But you can do something about the trigger that's in front of you that may not be really the the, the thing, right? You, you, your anger's coming forward, remember. And yes, you may be angry at that situation and it gets worse because you're backing... That's what I was saying. It was backing up. The stuff before that was backing that up like a, an anger against... Because I remember it was like it was an insecurity there um, it, with my wife and I at one point. Um, and, you know, it kind of touched a nerve with my insecurity in course, and then the anger comes up with that, but then it's followed with the, it's, it's followed with the, the anger be behind it as well. So when you can go, okay, shit, uh, it's coming from, oh, it's coming from there, now you can do a little bit of something about the anger going forward. And I, like I say, it's all new territory to me. I'm reporting this as I'm learning it. <laughs> This is why I like, this is why I love podcasting. This is why I love an outlet to where, because this also helps me to be able to vent it, share it, get feedback on it. Give me your feedback, guys. Send, send, me, some sh send me some comments and that. Give me some feedback. Because, you know, I, d I know I'm not going through any of this shit alone out there. I know that, I know that this is touching people because I get the comments back. And I hear, I hear people say, shit, sometimes someone will post up and go, this freaking hit home, or yeah, needed this, or whatever. So I know, I know shit's, I know people are getting, you know, it's, it's, it's reaching people. And when it comes to anger, it's a massive subject out there. Like I say, I'm going to do a podcast on it probably. I'd like to make it a decent podcast. And I know that Beckett Johnson and me are going to be talking about it at some point. It's a subject that I'd like to bring up and, uh, dabble around in it a little bit with uh, with Beckett Johnson because I do, you know, I do have that anger and the rage and shit that goes with it. And now, <laughs> now, even though I've been told over and over again, yeah, you're showing signs of PTSD with the bully, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> now I'm looking at it going, yeah, I see that shit, damn. <laughs> and Eric freaking just like it's it's crazy it's crazy because now I'm aware of the amount of anger like mm, why why am I like today I was getting triggered again and I'm like what the bloody hell is going on and it was you know yeah tune into it don't push it away don't try and fight it don't just be with it because when you're when you're with it you can see it's when we're trying to fight it, we don't see. We want something gone. Go away. I don't want you, right? You know, do that with toxic people, right? I bet you're not doing that with toxic people, right? I bet you're not like, yeah, go away. I don't want you around, right? You allow them in. You allow them in. And you do, and when you do the same thing with this. Don't allow it. Question it. Question it. And as soon as you start opening up the subconscious mind... You're opening up a bit of a journey into like an unknown area because it's maybe not been there. It's never probably been questioned on it. Like, why am I so angry? Like I did. Listen, it, it's only, again, I'm reporting this as some of this has been happening because it's the first time that I've sitting in front of my, she'll tell you, sitting in front of Judith, sitting in and going, hmm, hang on a minute. 
Why that amount? What's going on with the? Why am I so freaking right? Why is it going into ragey? What's going on there? What's the? You know, and there was a few things that I had said that were, you know, and I put my hand up to it. And I'm like, yeah, all right, shit, you know, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> all right. But um, but the, you know, the I I yeah, it didn't go anywhere. I kept my kept my composure, kept my cool, everything was good, you know, and, and, and Judith gave me a whole bunch of props for it and everything, but it was also all of a sudden, shit, meltdown. And and it was the, I believe it was the processing of it again, running through, the, running through, and um, especially after, you know, talking all of a sudden, we got we brought bullying and we went, shit, <laughs> right? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I wish I had a bell button. Can I have a button on this thing? I need to get a bell where I can freaking press it when the light bulb goes off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, just be in touch. Just be in touch with the anger, guys, right? Because once you get in touch, once you get in touch with it and you start looking at it and keeping an open, keeping your uh, third eye open. <laughs> Then you can start looking a little bit differently at it. And then you can start getting a little bit of a, you know, start looking at it. And instead of not doing anything about it at all, make yourself that better person and work on it. It all depends on how you're looking at yourself and how you want to really mix in with your surroundings as well, a lot of it. But go and check out my channel, guys, please. Just put in a YouTube Cockney Bird, I should come up. And give me a give me a like and subscribe on my channel and give me pass me around if you would. Not forgetting that Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Sunday morning, come out and see me on my channel, YouTube channel. It's an it's a good time, I enjoy it. We're building a community. We have the regular people that come out there and support, and it'll be really good to see some uh, some more people out there that I know and love, and uh, they're in my community out there. So come and join me on the Sunday. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. We still got that little bit more to go. Make it count. Do the PPA. Thanks for listening to me, guys. I appreciate every one of you. Love you.